What's going on everybody? James Paul Shepard from Filmcore Digital and today we're doing the Loki three time effect. Super simple tutorial, so let's get into it. All right, now that we're in DaVinci Resolve and you've got your footage all set up, I assume that you know how your clips are set up. You need a clean plate, your actor starting to come in, and then your actor back where they're gonna reappear. So starting with the first clip, what you wanna do is you wanna go to the end of your first clip and you're gonna go back four frames. One, two, three, four. You're gonna put a cut there. You're gonna to go to the beginning of where your actor reappears and go forward four frames. One, two, three, four. And we're gonna put a cut there. Now with the first one selected, we're gonna head over to Fusion. Now that we're in Fusion and you're on the first frame, we're going to zoom in here real quick and we're going to mask around. It doesn't have to be super perfect because you're going to put a blur on it, but don't go like all the way out there. Try to get close. Now I'm going to speed through this because I assume you guys know how to mask. All right, now with that mask, you want to go ahead one frame. And make sure that you're still inside that mask. So again, I'm going to speed through this. All right, now with that keyframed, you want to go to the next frame. And you're going to do this with all four frames. So just move forward a frame, make sure you're inside it, the mask, and then move forward a frame, make sure you're inside the mask, all four frames. So I'm going to fast forward through this. I'd like to take this time right now to thank our Patreon members for all their support. And those members are Dylan Painter, Dustin Clark, Carl Robbins, Lil Thrusty, Bobby Saravanera, Angela Marie, Danny Gowan, Vicky and David Ingblom and Leslie Murphy. I appreciate all your support. And if you guys want to be a Patreon member, go check out the link in the description. There's three tiers to choose from, all different benefits. Let's get back to this tutorial. All right, so now that that's masked out, I sped through that. If you spend a little more time on it, it will look better, just like any masking you do. The more you spend on it, the better it will always look. All right, so now that we have that, we're going to connect it to our media in. All right, so with the media node selected, what we're going to do is we're going to shift space. And we're going to grab a directional blur. You want to make sure it's the second directional blur. We're going to leave the directional blur at 0.4. And we're going to change the angle to negative 90. Now that we have that, we're going to head over to the edit tab. Now what you want to do here is you want to select that clip. We're going to go over the inspector. We're going to keyframe the opacity. We're going to change that to 80 and then we're going to go to the end of the clip and we're going to drop that down to zero. So now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this twice by holding alt, dragging up on this bottom clip. We're going to change this to 20%. The second clip we're going to change to 40%. All right. So now that we have the opacity done, what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to position and we're going to key the position of each one of these. All right, so with the first one selected, you're going to drag over to the right. And then the second one, we're going to drag over just a little past it. And then the third one, we're going to do the same thing and just drag it just a little past that. One. You're going to go forward one frame. And then you're going to do the same thing opposite. So you're going to go to the left. You're going to go forward a frame, and then you're going to go back to the right. The position of where you put it from left to right does not have to be precise. You're going to go forward one more frame, and then do the same thing. You just want to make sure that they're, all three of them are close to each other in whatever position you're putting them in. You want the three clips to at least be close to each other. All right, so then you should have something like this. Now you're going to do the exact same thing on this last clip. You're going to go ahead and go over to Fusion, mask it out like we did, add a directional blur, 
you're going to mask it out the four frames, make sure it's in the four frames, add a directional blur, come back over here. You're going to go over to the opacity. We're going to keyframe that. We're going to change that to 80. We're going to go to the end, drop it down to zero, duplicate it by alt drag up. This bottom one, we're going to go to the beginning of the frame. You're going to drop that down to 20. Second clip, we're going to drop that down to 40. Now starting with the first clip, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go up to position, key it on all three clips. Starting with the first one, we are going to drag over to the right. And then grab the second one, do the same thing, slightly past, and then do the last one slightly past that. Go forward one frame, and then we're going to go back to the left, forward another frame, back to the right. You're going to do this for all four frames. All right. So then you should have something like this. Now what you want to do is you want to go to the end of your clip here, go forward four frames, one, two, three, four, and then drag this footage to it, cut this down, and there you go. Now we're going to add the sound. The sound clip will be available. Now we're going to add the sound. The sound clip will be available in the link in the description below. Buy me a coffee. I don't drink coffee, so it's buy me a movie. The clip is free. You can donate if you want to. All donations are appreciated. So what we do is we grab the clip, find out where we are porting, and then we just let's go ahead and bring that up just a little bit. There you go. You just want to line that up. And that's a way to do the retime effect from Loki. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe. Thanks for watching. And remember, keep creating.